such a relationship can be acknowledged in an appropriate context. But it is not a public thing that makes the man the father of all or even when he has not performed that role to others. Is that ambiguous? What I'm trying to say is that fatherhood involves infusing. Infusing of your spirit, infusing of your life onto someone else. For biological fathers, there is already a genetic infusion. But if it does not go beyond that, you will still discover that even though you are biologically a father, you may not be a real father to your son. Eh? Are you getting me? Do you know that some of us, you only know your father in name. But those who infuse into your life what you are today is not your father. To such an extent that when your father is speaking, is a stranger. The real father who infused his life into you may be someone else, somewhere. But we are praying as Christian men that we will not only be physical, biological fathers to our biological children, we will be the father to them in every area. Hallelujah. That your child, your son, your, bo your, your, your daughter, they will be able to look at your life in every way. He said, but that's, that's, that, you know, I'm talking beyond, they say, that's my father. No. They should be able to say, that is the man who fathered me into all these things that I'm doing. That's the man who brought me into what I'm doing? So in that dimension, we have the privilege of not only being biological fathers, but we can be fathers, ancestors, that infuses life into others. And so by God's grace, you can be another father, Abraham, who by your life, several people have come to walk in a particular way with God. And each time they are looking back, who is the ancestor of my life in this area? They will be able to trace it to you by the grace of God. God is expecting that from you as a man. There are many people in our generation, they have no father figure at all. Whatever they are doing, they are just struggling. Let me quickly move to the third consideration of who a father is. The third consideration which I give to who a father is is that it could be one who creates, invents, makes, or composes anything. He is the author, the former. I use the word former in a very in a very peculiar sense there. It, we don't use the word former as preceding. I'm talking about he who forms something. Is there a better English word we should have used? Eh? Eh? A molder. Inventor. We have already used the word invent. Eh? It's all right. You can put that in your own notes. But you have understood what I mean. It's a former. Someone who formulates. A contriver. A contriver. A founder. A director or instructor. God as creator is the father of all men. Am I right? Eh? God as the creator is the father of all men, is the father of all spirits. 
We are told that Jabal There was one man called Jabal In Genesis chapter 4 He was the father Of such as dwell in tents And there was another man called Jubal He was the father of musicians When you have space and you read Genesis 4 You see all those that the Bible talked about Homer is considered as the father of epic poetry. Washington, as a defender and an affectionate and wise counselor, is called the father of his country. From these various examples, it is to be noted that fatherhood involves what? Creativity. A father must be creative. A father must be able to call forth what is not as though it was there. You will notice that some of the attributes that I'm talking about as, as that of a man, you will notice that they are those things that is peculiar to God, but which he decides. To give us a portion of it in order to function properly on us. It involves creativity. He must be able to generate ideas that does what? That work and are productive. If children could see their fathers as the source of their inspiration, it becomes a very strong bond for their relationship. Being a father is more than just a biological father. As a father, you must indeed be a master and a pace setter. The bond between a man and his children becomes stronger if you are actually a source of the inspiration that your son is running after. If you are actually the, the, the creative source of what your child has now become. If what your child is now being known about, he can trace that identity to who you are and to what you have infused into him, then it will be wonderful. Some of you may need to first pray tonight and say, God, in as much as I can know, I have not been the kind of father I ought to have been. I have only shouted on my children and said, Don't do that! But I have not actually created in them what they should have been. This has been Living Seed. For further inquiry or counsel, contact this house, P.O. Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 0703-036359, 0703-768119. Female address lsmedia at livingseed.org or visit our website at www.livingseed.org. Make it a date with us next week.